Janet, 1v1 versus every brawler in Brawl Stars. Now, many of you said she's going to be broken, but I'm not so sure, and I'll show you why in this video. Janet is the chromatic brawler for the next Brawl Stars season, season 12. And if you want to guarantee getting her in the first season at tier 30, you're going to need that Brawl Pass. And if you do decide to get the Brawl Pass, I would really appreciate you using Code Lex. Janet is a brawler who can attack from short to long range, depending on how long you aim her shot. She's got 5,400 hit points, and for a long-range brawler, that's actually pretty good. For her main shot, she fires out a sound wave that deals 1,500 damage and can pierce enemies. If you just press the auto attack without actually aiming, the range is very short, but if you hold and aim, it'll condense and it'll lengthen the shot. If you have her second star power vocal warm-up, this happens 30% faster than normal, and playing without this star power honestly feels pretty aggravating with how slow it is. Her second star power allows her to see in bushes while she's flying around. Oh, Oh, yeah, that's right. For her super, she flies around dropping bombs on anything below her. Now, each bomb deals 900 damage, and she drops seven bombs in total. However, she cannot hover in place, as she's always moving forward, and the turning radius while she is up there is similar to Peep, so you can't, like, make these super tight turns, and also you're constantly moving. And because of these things, her super just isn't very good in these interactions. More than anything, I think that her super is going to be good for getting out of a bad situation or maybe crossing some walls or water like on some certain showdown maps. She has two gadgets and the first one is called Drop the Bass. She will place a loudspeaker that will emanate noise dealing 100 damage per second to anyone within the area of effect. The health on this slowly depletes and it can easily be destroyed as well. Now her second gadget is a little more interesting as when you activate it, her next shot will send her flying backwards and even over walls. The longer you hold the shot, the further back you will travel. For these interactions, we're going to use her vocal warm-up star power as it just takes too long to focus attacks without it. We'll also be placing her at a decent range because honestly that's how you're going to want to play her as a longer range damage dealer. Alright so let's get this party started with the Trophy Road Brawlers. She did okay there. I mean, not amazing, but decent. Now, keep in mind that these interactions are utilizing her faster shot star power. She'll perform worse if she does not have that star power equipped. Playing her, even with the star power, she feels very like slow and methodical and honestly slightly aggravating waiting for the shot to reach its max range. But hey, maybe she's going to do better against the rares. Okay, yeah, no, she's she stood no chance against Rosa or El Primo, and she just barely won against Barley. But hey, she beat Poco, so that's not nothing. I mean, it's almost nothing, but it's not nothing.
She was able to beat Rico in a very close finish, but got stomped by Daryl and Jackie. She did beat Penny by about one second. I think you're starting to get the picture. However, I think that the next set of brawlers are really going to illustrate this pretty well. She's not going to be a brawler that's going to carry the game by herself. She's a support damage dealer with a very cool but marginally effective super. So let's take a look at the epic brawlers. Perhaps she's going to do better there. At least she beat B, although in a real battle, B would actually just outrange her. She got stomped by Frank, Piper outdamaged her, Pam didn't even need to get close to kill her, and she was unable to finish off Edgar, who really doesn't have that many hit points. So yeah, against the Epic Brawlers, you're gonna have to play it smart. But there are some good things about Janet, so let's take a look at her against all of the Mythic Brawlers. Now these were all pretty close matchups. If someone is right up close to you, she actually unloads her shot pretty quickly by pressing auto aim. The problem is you don't want somebody to be up close to you when you're playing Janet. I mean, heck, she even has a gadget purely made for keeping your distance. So you're gonna have to play smart with her, which means I probably can't do that. Once again, she holds her own here. Now, we kept Spike at a range because both brawlers actually would prefer to be around that distance, but if we stack Spike directly in her hitbox, she still ends up winning, as you're seeing here, thanks to her fast unload speed when she's using auto aim. Finally, let's see how she does against her fellow chromatic brawlers.
Once again, she did pretty respectable here. Fun fact is that you can use her super to avoid Buzz's super, which highlights the point that I talked about earlier is that I think that her super is going to be best for getting out of trouble, not so much as a finisher, although it could be used like that in the right situation, but most times you're going to want to use it to move around or escape a bad situation. Oh, and in case you were wondering what would happen if you had two Janets flying around each other up in the air trying to kill each other, the answer is... Yeah, nothing. Just as expected, they fly around dropping bombs on, well, nothing. But it's still pretty cool. Almost as cool as Janet's voice lines. This is your pilot speaking. Hey, uh, up, up and away! Rocket girl! Encore! Let's drop some candies to the stars! Fly me to the moon! Catch you on the flip side. People, Janet has left the building. Total bummer. Peace out. All right, P to me. I'm about to crash and burn. <laughs> you clearly aren't a fan. What a dork. Not groovy. Don't be a downer. Pain. I feel low. Pain. I am dangerous. Remember, peeps, no points for second place. Sorry, can't see you from up here. I'm high. You're low. I'm on another level. Ice in my veins. Seems unfair since I'm rocket powered. Let's reach for the stars, baby. I'm playing among the stars. Rocket field awesomeness. Brace for impact. Watch the birdie. Flying high as a kite and ready to fight. Let's rock this out. It's gonna be a trip. So then, how good will Janet be? Now, I know a lot of you people, I've seen you on Twitter and Reddit, you're scared that she's gonna be completely broken, but honestly, I don't think so. She's decently balanced and has a very unique super end shot, and I think that she's going to do all right in the correct setting, but I don't think she's going to be as good as many people are thinking that she's going to be. And for that, I think I'm going to give her a 6 out of 10. She's not going to be bad, but she's not going to be broken. She's just going to be average with some really cool mechanics. Her little sister, however, well, you'll see soon.